Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India So welcome again to the new lecture on, on the course properties of materials. So let us just briefly see what we did in the last lecture. So in the last lecture we saw introduction to microscopic mechanism of uh, basically so plastic deformation. We saw that uh, if you do characterization of the materials after, after plastic deformation, one can see that materials crystal structure lattice parameter and volume remains constant. So, this can be found out by detailed characterization. Now, if that is true, then what is that which leads to plastic deformation? And it turns out that is a phenomena called as, so microscopic phenomena, one is called a slip in which the plane of atoms in one part of the crystal slip against the other part of the crystal. So, across a plane called a slip plane leading to movement of atoms against each other. So, this is and this happens on certain planes called as slip planes and it happens along certain directions atomic directions called as slip directions and we will see details of this in today's lecture. And then second phenomena is less common. So, this is the most common second is twinning twin related deformation which is basically formation of twins and deform, deformation caused by it um, at but generally this is less common and mostly it happens at low temperature when slip is not active or slip systems are not active so we will in this course we will mostly discuss about the slip we will not talk about the twins as such so let's see what this slip is what is slip induced plastic deformation. So, generally uh, atomic, atomically speaking slip happens on certain it, it happens on on certain crystallographic planes only and along certain crystallographic directions. So, this together, so these are called as slip planes and these are called as slip directions and basically it happens in this fashion because they lead to lower value of required stress to deform. Okay. There are theories behind this microscopic theories, but essentially it is because of lower value of stress that is required to deform the material. So, together they make what we call a slip system. So, a slip system contains slip planes and slip direction. Okay. So, so slip, plane, slip system is a combination of slip plane and slip direction. So, naturally the slip direction lies in the 
slip plane. I mean you cannot have one plane and other, another direction. The direction has to lie within the slip plane. So, this is first condition. So, that means if slip direction is u v w and plane is h k l type then dot product of u v w to h k l is equal to 0 basically means u h plus v k plus w l is equal to 0. So, if you have 1 1 1 plane as slip plane let us say then the then the only directions which can slip which can give rise to slip are so 1 1 1 will make dot product 0 u v w. So, essentially u plus v plus w has to be equal to 0. So, which means it could be 1 bar 1 0 direction, it could be bar 1 0 1 direction, it could be 1 1 bar 2 direction, bar 1 bar 1 2 direction and so on and so forth. So, what determines along these directions which will be the direction? So, the next thing is slip direction is a is a closed packed direction. So, it is the direction along which atoms touch. So, you may have a direction in which atoms are touching each other, you may have a direction along which atoms are not touching each other. So, this is not the slip direction, this is the slip direction which is the closed packed direction. Okay. So, slip direction is a closed pack direction. In majority of the cases, slip plane is also a closed packed plane, but this is only possible for closed pack systems. So, if you look at systems like FCC or HCP, they have close packed, they are close packed structures and as a result they have close packed planes. Okay. So, the question is why is that slip planes are usually close packed, why is that? So close packed plane y close packed direction y. So, this is slip plane, this is slip direction and this is because the close packed planes have stress required to move atoms in them is smaller. So, let us see first what close pack, how do you work out what is a close pack plane, what is not a close pack plane before we come to this in little, little bit more detail. So, let us first look at how do you determine a plane is closed packed. So, let us say we work out what we call as planar density in planes in crystals. So, basically planar density or we can say P d, P d is given as number of atoms on a given plane divided, divided by area of the plane. So, basically number of atoms per unit area. So, let us say if we want to calculate P d on 110 plane of FCC crystal. 
So, first we do is that we make a let us say a cube let us say these are the atoms that we have. So, the 1 1 0 plane is the plane which is this plane. All right. So, how many are the number of atoms? So, in this plane we can see the number of atoms are. So, this is one quarter, this is one quarter, this is half, this is half, this is half. So, these two are half, these two are one quarter. So, total number of atoms is basically you can say 4 by floor plus 2 by 2, this is 2 within this area. And what is the area? If the atomic radius is r, so you can see that this is basically you can say a this is a root 2. So, this is a into a root 2 which is root 2 a square and in FCC we know that a is equal to 2 root 2 r where r is the radius of atom. This will work out to be 8 into root 2 r square. So, planar density can be 2 divided by 8 into square root 2 r square. This will be essentially 1 divided by 4 into root 2 r square. So, so this is how you can find out the planar densities and it turns out now if you do the maths then for let us say for BCC if you take the primary planes, so let us say along 1 0 0 the planar density is 1 divided by a square. So, let us say we write in terms of a. So, I mean you can write this in terms of a as well. So, in terms of a it will be 2 divided by square root 2 a square or square root 2 divided by a square. So, this will be this and 1 1 0 will have a planar density of 2 divided by square root 2 a square and this along 1 1 1 it will be 1 y square root 3 a naught a, a square. Okay. And out of these 3 you can see the maximum density plane is this is the highest density plane 1 1 0. But this is not a closest pack plane, but it has a highest density closest closed pack planes means the planes in which atoms touch each other that is, these are the closed pack planes. So, this is not a closed pack plane, but it does have a closed pack direction. So, if you look at BCC crystal, so you have an atom sitting here you have another atom sitting here. So, these this atom, this atom and this atom they touch each other. So, you can say that a root 3 will be equal to 4 r this is the relation. So, 1 1 0 this is so this 1 1 0 plane itself is not a closed pack plane, but it is the plane with highest density all the planes are going to be smaller density, but it has a closed pack direction, but has a closed pack direction. And you can work this direction out this direction from here to here is a 1 1 1 type direction. So, basically 1 1 0 plane will have 1 1 1 type of direction. So, of course, the dot product has to be 0. So, essentially it could be bar 1 1 1 type of direction. So, there could be multiple combinations. So, this will make a slip system in uh, BCC. So, 1 1 0 plane is the highest density plane. So, 1 1 0 is the slip plane.
coming to FCC, okay. So, FCC is this. where you have this atom, this atom, this atom, this atom and this atom. Okay. So, essentially you can say that the atoms touch along the faces. Okay. So, so, atoms touch along 110 directions and there is a plane which is this plane which is 110 111 sorry which is the which is the plane in which atoms touch each other so essentially 111 plane will look something like this so let me see if i can draw it correctly this something like this this will be the 111 plane all right and if you now calculate the atomic density for different planes for 10100 for 110 for 111 this will be 2 divided by a square this will be 2 root divided by root 2 a square this will be 4 divided by root 3 a square so this has the highest atomic density and it is the closest packed plane. These are the, this is how you work out the planar density. For a direction you can work out, you can work out linear density. So, let us say you have a FCC, again you go to, go to FCC. So, linear density you can define as number of atoms along a vector divided by length. So, basically number of atoms per unit length. So, let us say we want to calculate numbers. So, we want to calculate L d along 110 for F c c. So, for FCC we know that number of atoms, so if you go to previous picture, this is the direction 110. So, if you take along this A B, so along A B number of atoms is equal to uh, you can say 2, right. And uh, length along length of AB is equal to uh, 4 R or A root 2. Okay. So, L D along 110 for F C C will be equal to for F C C will be equal to 2 divided by 4 R or 1 divided by 2 R. You can also show L D along 100 and 100 will be square root 2 divided by 4 r. I will leave it to you as a homework. So, it turns out that basically the you can find out using linear density what is the direction, what is the density of atoms along, along a particular vector and you can find out the planar density. So, essentially slip takes place on the planes along the directions along which linear density is the highest. So, slip directions are highest linear density directions. So, they happen to be closed packed directions. So, if you look at the cases of FCC, BCC, HCP, simple cubic, these are all they will have closed pack directions atoms assuming that touching is sphere model and then slip planes are highest planar density 
planes and or you can say closed pack planes. Closed pack planes are not present in all the crystal systems, so only for F HCP or FCC because that is where you form closed pack planes for BCC and HCP for BCC and simple cubic we are looking at planes which have highest crystal density. So, essentially um, these are slip planes. the combination of two as we said is slip system. but with the condition that u v w lies in h k l. So, u v w dot h k l is equal to 0. So, and this is what the, the definition of slip, slip system is. So, now let us see we work out the slip system for FCC. So, slip systems in FCC. So, we have atoms, we do not make touching atoms just to for the sake of clarity. Okay. Now, we know that highest density plane is this plane. So, this A, B, C is the 1, 1, 1 plane. How many 1, 1, 0 type of directions lie in this? So, it turns out, so we saw that for FCC, closest packed plane is 1 1 1 type and closest pack direction from the calculations is 1 1 0 type. Okay. So, let us find out different combinations. So, we can see that in this 1 1 1 plane, if this is x, this is y, this is z, in this plane there are 3 1 1 0 directions, one is this, second is that third is this. What are these directions? So, 1 1 0, 1 1 1. So, basically you can say 1 1 1 dot u v w is equal to 0. So, you can say that u plus v plus w is equal to 0. And we know that these directions are only of uh, 1 1 0 type. So, ignoring all other combinations, it will lead to bar 1 0 1, 1 0 bar 1 which are identical just opposite bar 1 1 0 or 1 bar 1 0 and then 0 bar 1 1, 0 1 bar 1. So, basically you can see that one plane can contain three directions. So, basically you can have total of 3 slip possibilities, slip can occur along 3 different directions. So, these are 3 slip systems. So, likewise in a FCC crystal you may have multiple 1 1 1 planes. So, this is 1 1 1 1 plane, the second 1 1 1 plane is this. So, let us use different color, this is another 1 1 1 plane, you can have uh, one more plane that is uh, let us say this. Okay. If you connect this, this and that, let me use different color maybe 1, 2 and 3 and the fourth one could be. So, you have, so let us write the combination. So, you have 1, 1, 1 you have bar 1 1 1, you have 1 bar 1 1 and you have 1 1 bar 1. You can write other combinations as well. So, essentially for this bar 1 1 1 will be 1 bar 1 
1 for this it would be bar 1 bar 1 1. So, these are opposite planes basically you can say and for this it would be bar 1 bar 1 bar 1. So, you have multiple 8 possibilities because you have 8 vertices, but 4 of them are 2 of them are equivalent. So, as a result you will have total of 4 planes. So, 4 1 1 1 type planes I will leave it to you as a homework draw these planes and find out the directions and make a list of slip systems. So, 4 1 1 1 type plane into 3 direction in each plane this gives you 12 slip systems. So, in a general sense you can say you have 1 1 1 plane as slip plane direction is 1 1 0 this is slip system. Of course, you have to choose combination for which direction lies within the plane that is the dot product of the 2 is equal to 0. So, that is what you have to do all right. So, similarly you can do this work for uh, BCC as well. So, we do not have time for that today we will do that in the next class. I will leave it to you to do some homework in this direction before we take up this in the next class. So, what we have done in this lecture is basically we have looked at we have we have invoked the concept of slip systems. So, slip system a slip system consists of two entities one is slip plane and the slip direction. Slip plane is the plane on which the planar density is highest in case of closed pack system it is the closed pack plane. So, for FCC it is 111 type of plane for HCP it is 0001 type of plane, but BCC and simple cubic structures do not have a closed pack plane. So, in that case the highest density plane is the slip plane and the closed pack and the slip directions are directions which are closed pack directions or directions with highest linear density. So, in all these systems we have directions which are closed packed that is along which the atoms touch each other. So, for one FCC the direction is 110 for PCC the direction is 111 type for simple cubic it will be uh, 100 type of direction and for HCP it would be one of those in plane directions of 100 or 01 kind of directions. So, we will do some more analysis on the slip systems in the next class to find out BCC and HCP slip systems before we move on further. So, thank you very much.